Interstate 696. America's Autobahn. Alright, I-696 is the northern bypass to downtown Detroit and travels from Farmington Hills to St. Clair Shores. This is also the last of the interstates to talk about in Michigan. So first, let's talk about eastbound I-696. Alright, so here's where we left off from the first episode of the series, the I-275 video, where I-96 is splitting for Lansing to the left, M5 is going north in the middle lane, and also to the east in the right lanes where I-696 is going to start its journey. This is what it looks like when you're heading west on M5, merging with I-96 West, and this is what it looks like heading east on I-96, where I-96 itself continues with I-275 to the right lanes, and I-696 and M5 East will share the left lanes. And here's what it looks like coming in the other direction on M5, southbound where it turns to eastbound. The lanes do the exact same thing as the previous image you just saw. Alright, we are signed for Port Huron for our entirety. It is 74 miles away, with Southfield on the top at 6 miles away. Alright, uh, hold on. I just said we were signed for Port Huron. Why are we signed for Detroit? This is the Northern Bypass, we're not gonna touch it. We are now in the city of Southfield. This is where we meet M10 and US-24 as Lodge Freeway and Telegraph Road. M10 goes to downtown Detroit. Instead of mile markers for cities now, we're just getting signed the next exits and how many miles they are away from this. Here's a little look in the distance at the town center of Southfield. We'll get a better view of that in the M10 video. Here is another mileage sign with the following exits. And now we are entering the city of Lathrop Village. And yet another mileage sign. This freeway has gone full California. And now we are back in Southfield for some reason. Now about the Detroit Zoo, Woodward Avenue is the better place to exit. And also we get some tunnels because there are sidewalks through little parks that connect Pleasant Ridge. And we have now entered the city of Oak Park. Okay, uh, city of Oak Park? Huntington Woods city limit? And right after we enter Royal Oak. Okay. Also here's a look at the water tower of the Detroit Zoo. Please do also be sure to check out my Elevators at Detroit Zoo video. Just a little up the road, we now meet with I-75. Currently there's construction and a ramp is closed, but it is signed north for Flint and south Detroit. And as we cross I-75, we enter Madison Heights. The cities just never stop, don't they? We now enter Warren and Macomb County. Alright, now this is the Mound Road interchange. It is one of the biggest interchanges in Michigan to be just a normal road. This is what it looks like on Google Maps. It even has a frontage road, so I don't even know why they made it this big. And now we enter center line, and our eastern terminal is at I-94, signed east for Port Huron, which was what I-696 is signed for eastbound, and I-94 signed west for Detroit. And now it is time to talk about westbound I-696. Here is where we start on I-94, looking northbound. We are signed for Lansing and have an exit for 11 Mile Road too. And here's the same thing heading southbound where we're really going west. And we are back in Warren. Here is another look at the Mound Road interchange, under one of the bridges there. And now we re-enter Oakland County and Madison Heights. And now here's I-75 again, we're signed for Lansing, and there is Detroit and Flint, south and north. And now we are back in Royal Oak. So yeah, they got it right here, Woodward Avenue is the better way to go for Detroit Zoo. City of Oak Park, Oak Park City Limit. There, they got it right this time. And now here we are back in Southfield. And here we are meeting again with US-24 and M10, Telegraph Road, and Northwestern Highway. Why? Well, let's see. Well, M10 north of I-696 is Northwestern Highway, it travels to 14 Mile Road in West Bloomfield Township. As we will soon meet with I-96, our parent, Brighton is 26 miles away, and Lansing is 74 miles away. And now we're entering Farmington Hills where we started. So yeah, at the same exit that it said we were signed for Detroit, they got this one right, they were signed for Lansing. And we are ending here, I-696 is going to split. I-96 will go west to Lansing, and there is an exit for 96, I-275, and M5 for Toledo and Grand River Avenue. And that concludes the interstate portion of Michigan's freeways. Next we're going to talk about the U.S. highways. For more information on Interstate 696, check out Beaver Geography's newest video. And as always, subscribe to me and Control City Freak.
He is very close to 5,000. Alright, I'll see y'all in the next video.